Hey everyone. In September, I quit my job as a dishwasher and decided to go on a bike trip that would be my farthest and longest bike trip I've done before. And it starts with a 15 hour ferry ride through BC's Inside Passage. from Port Hardy arrives in Prince Rupert at about midnight, so I'd recommend getting a hostel or hotel unless you know for sure you have a good camping spot. I will say there isn't terribly much to do in Prince Rupert, but there are a few little cute coffee shops and stores and restaurants you can check out while you wait for your evening ferry to Haida Gwaii.
Okay, so we left Massa uh, and we left the provincial park. I got a hitchhike ride from um, this really nice couple um, from Massa to Port Clements. And now we, we want to spend our last night in Reynolds Sound, um, kind of a, a campsite that is a bit further from where I am now. It's kind of later in the night as well. Uh, it's almost 6 p.m. Um, sunset is at 8 p.m. So we have like two hours of technical, a bit, a bit more than that of daylight. Um, and the ride to Reynolds Sound is about three and something hours, so um, it's definitely more remote. <laughs> so we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of just have to send it. Um, we have some layers, we have uh, enough water, we have enough food. Um, we told a friend where we're going and our plan to check in tomorrow night. Um, there's no cell service of where we're going, so yeah, just gotta send it. And um, hopefully when we wake up tomorrow, it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful location. So let's hopefully, hopefully the next scene is, is that or me getting there or something. Hopefully, let's see. All right, so less than five minutes into the start of our ride to Reynolds Sound. Uh, yeah, this is the start of the road. It's gonna be like this for almost maybe until we get there. So for another like 55 kilometers, Uh, definitely the most challenging riding I've done so far on this trip. I think it'll be worth it though. We'll see. I'm pretty sure it will be. <laughs> well, let's get there first. Yeah, this road really got overgrown very quickly. I took a right, which is the what uh, Nops was saying. Yeah, we're dodging branches, just trying to stay dry. Otherwise, they hit us, we get a bit of a douse. still have another hour or two of biking, but it's a pretty good, pretty good view here. Just as the sun's setting towards our west. I think that, that's west. Uh, the sun is long set. Um, we still have a bit of ambient light in the sky. Uh, some blue, not too, much, not too cloudy. We're, we're good on rain. Um, but yeah, the light won't last for that much longer. So you know, we're, we're prepared for that. We have our headlamp, pretty good front light here. Our rear light is going. I don't know why, I haven't seen a car in hours, but just in case. Yeah, so. I think it's at least a few more hours, two more hours at least of uh, riding and one mega climb at the end and then a mega downhill. Uh, but it'll be really dark by then, so hopefully our, our energy stays up for that. Might be time for a water break and a snack break, but it's tough because I feel the need to keep going before it gets too dark and too late. But gotta take care of yourself so you can get where you want to go, I guess. We uh, made the intersection where we're going to go into a uh, rental. So a rental road. There's a closure. It doesn't affect us, I don't think. Um, yeah, rental sound. Uh, we should be there in like an hour and a half. Oh gosh. Uh, so yeah, it was a just about like an intersection. Uh, about to take a, take a piss. Turned around, saw a pair of eyes looking at me, and. Uh, 
through a flash with the headlight, you know? So I was like, you know what, actually, no, it's like, I, can, I, can, I can pee somewhere else so I can, I can hold it. You know, probably a deer, but whatever, you know, just kind of a bit unnerving. I, I don't want to, you can't just whip it out in front of someone when they're looking, like, come on. All right, we're doing the climb, the final climb. It's a big hill. I feel like I've been in my last gear for what feels like at least 15 minutes. So, still a bit of ways to go. Uh, all right, well, uh, we're starting our, I think the final descent. Uh, it's very steep, very steep. Uh, my brakes are, I'm like <laughs> grabbing them so hard, but uh, I don't think we have the stopping power. Maybe a bit of a, I need a bit of a checkup. Uh, hey everyone, good afternoon. So uh, it was really a beautiful camp spot, definitely worth it. Um, even the process of getting there honestly was kind of enjoyable in an adventurous way. Um, yeah, we had the whole campsite to ourselves. Um, all the whole, all the spots were basically empty. Um, yeah, had a really nice, uh, yeah, night. Um, looking at the fish spawning in and kind of swimming upstream. Um, we had, had a nice breakfast and we laid out in the sun. Just, it, was, it was really warm. The wind's coming in right now. Uh, we have a bit, of a bit of a ride back to uh, the ferry. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the ferry, basically reversing our course um, of how we got here. Gorgeous, really, really gorgeous trip. I feel quite uh, spoiled and privileged, of course, to, to be here. Um, just really beautiful lands and, and, and um, still beautiful, uh, still beautiful despite um, all, the, all the negative impacts from colonization. And, it's kind of a uh, weird to think that all the forests here are really not old growth. Actually, they're they say everything's been logged, um, uh, but the, the height of people are still here. They're uh, you know, different uh, types of um, kind of resiliency and and, and uh, I guess opposition. I don't know. Is it staying strong? Uh, I don't know. I don't think anything I say here is gonna really uh, land true land true to how I feel or, or the actual. The gravity of the situation and the history here but just just once again feel really really privileged um well to, to be able to visit these lands um with my own positionality as, as, a, as a as a settler um, someone who benefits from uh, colonization resource extraction um, yeah so yeah well hope you enjoyed the uh this little uh journey that we did uh, maybe it inspired you to do one of them yourself to visit here as well. Um, I think that'd be, I think you'd really enjoy that. And um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe, smash the bell pepper, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.
thanks again for watching the video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're hearing this right now, it probably means you watched all the way towards the end, which is pretty impressive for a 20 plus minute video. Um, and even right now, you're probably watching this long, drawn out sequence as the ferry, the Northern Expedition, leaves Prince Rupert going back to Port Hardy on that 15 hour journey through the Inside Passage. Uh, once again, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you are looking for more bike camping, travel, a bit of silly vegan food vibes, I uh, would really appreciate you subscribing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.